Hey there guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mobile video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to build your Divi Mobile menu using our Divi Mobile plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you something about how to use the inject layout section of Divi Mobile by building your own mobile menu. Please check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more specific details on Divi Mobile and its various features, or definitely contact our amazing support team if you have more complicated issues. All right, let's get into it. And before we start, I just want to clear up two things that I think you should know. Divi Mobile saves the menu you build to your active theme. Therefore, if you make any changes to your active theme or your child theme, or like swapping them out for something else or a different child theme, you'll need to rebuild your menu. The second thing is that due to the way that WordPress has been built, there may be times where your live preview mode does not instantly load, meaning that you might not see the changes immediately. If you find this happening, hit that publish button and reload the page and then you should see your work. Okay guys, let's get going. All right, so to kick things off here, we need to create a basic layout that we're gonna be injecting into our mobile menu. So what we have to do is we have to go to Divi in the left-hand column here and go to the Divi library. We're gonna go ahead and click on Add New. Now once this loads, we're gonna go ahead and add just a basic section and a one column row and then a text module. Alrighty, so with that module added, we're gonna go open up the settings for the section and we're gonna add a background color of F7, F7, F7. It's this light gray color here. Now we'll save that and then open up the settings for the text module here. We'll head to the design tab and we'll change the text color to the 303030 color that we used earlier and go ahead and save that. Okay, so with the section we'll be injecting saved to our Divi layouts, we can go back to the customizer settings by going to appearance, customize, Divi mobile, and then inject layouts. Okay, now inside this section, we have this area where we can inject the layout below the mobile header. We can go ahead and click the drop down, select our layout, and hit save. Actually, before we hit that save for publish button, I wanna show you that there are three other areas where you can go ahead and inject layouts. Now, the first two refer to injecting a layout on your desktop menu, so above and below. Now, we covered the below mobile one already, way at the bottom here. You can also inject the layout above the mobile header. Now, as an added bonus, we can completely disable layouts on mobile by selecting the hide above injected layout on scroll over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and publish that and make sure that our layout is showing up. Okay guys, just that quick note again. If your page is not showing a preview reflecting the changes we just made, definitely go ahead and publish that page again and reload it to make sure that those changes do get reflected. The changes are made, but there's a weird goof with WordPress and the way that it was coded that prevents that live preview from showing every time. Now, it's also possible that you need to preview this from a mobile device or any type of device that's not logged into the backend of your WordPress site. So again, this is just something, one of the quirks with WordPress and not actually something relating to Divi Mobile. But yeah, don't stress out, just publish again and you should be fine. All right, guys, I hope this video is very helpful in showing you how to inject some layouts above and below your Divi Mobile menu. It's an awesome tool to use and you can do some really creative things. But if you have more questions on getting stuff done, definitely check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com or hit up our awesome support team and they'll be sure to help you out. So for this video, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.